The pay-per-use pricing model of AWS is great and scary at the same time. You can read about people generating huge AWS invoices unintentionally every now and then. How do you avoid a costly surprise when using AWS? Simple, by understanding the pricing models of the different services. Watch this unit to learn more about AWS costs. This module covers details of the pay-per-use pricing model, how to calculate AWS costs, and the AWS free tier that you can use to use AWS services for free. A bill from AWS is similar to an electric bill. You pay for the amount of usage. The following examples illustrate different pricing models on AWS. Let's assume you are running a web shop on AWS. The services are built per hours of usage, by traffic or by used storage. The load balancer for incoming HTTP requests is built per hours of usage and traffic. The virtual machine powering the web server is built per hours of usage. The database is built per hours of usage and used storage. The DNS service is built by traffic. Same is true for the content delivery network. The object storage for static content is built by used storage and traffic. The table shows an example bill of your web shop for January. You have to pay around 150 US dollars for your cloud infrastructure. You run a successful marketing campaign in February. Traffic on your website increased by five times. Therefore, you consumed more cloud resources, especially traffic, which led to a higher AWS bill. Services are invoiced on a monthly basis. Therefore, you will receive a monthly bill from AWS. The pricing for each service is publicly available, which allows you to calculate the monthly cost of your cloud infrastructure in advance. The simple monthly cost calculator is an easy way to estimate your monthly AWS costs. AWS is offering a free tier that you can use to get familiar with AWS for free. The free tier includes 750 hours of a small virtual server, 750 hours or roughly a month of a load balancer, object storage with 5 GB of storage per month, small database with 20 GB of storage including backup, which means you can run a small web application running on a virtual server, making use of a SQL database for free during the free tier for one year. You will learn how to use the Simply Monthly Cost Calculator to estimate costs in the following demo. That's the Simple Monthly Cost Calculator for AWS. We will calculate the pricing for parts of the webshop example from the beginning of this unit. First, we add the virtual server needed to run the web server. Let's choose a medium-sized virtual machine, M3 Medium. Another component of the webshop infrastructure is the load balancer, which is forwarding HTTP requests to the web server. Therefore, we add an elastic load balancer and 50 GB of traffic to the calculation. Next, let's add a small database server. DB T2 medium with 20 GB storage. That's it. The calculator shows the estimated costs for our cloud infrastructure, around 120 US dollars. Add a bookmark pointing to the simple monthly calculator as it is a handy tool whenever you need to estimate the costs for your cloud infrastructure on AWS. The pay-per-use model of AWS creates new opportunities. You do not need to invest into infrastructure upfront, a big benefit for startups or new services and products. Other benefits, you can start a server on demand and only pay per hour of usage. If you stop the server, you don't need to pay for them anymore. Another big advantage. A big server costs exactly as much as two smaller ones with the same capacity. This allows you to divide your system into smaller parts at the same costs, 
which enables fault tolerance even with a small budget. Now it's down to you. The following exercise gives you the opportunity to apply your new knowledge. Use the AWS Simple Monthly Calculator to calculate costs of the following infrastructure. A virtual server T2 small with 10 GB volume. A SQL database server DB T2 medium with 15 GB volume. That's it. You learned a lot about AWS costs during this module.